Okay, today for this video, our focus is on data and its classification and statistics. Data, as we all know, data is a collection of information. And in statistics, data can be broadly classified into qualitative data and quantitative data. Basically, qualitative data is a non-numeric data and quantitative data is a numeric data. In statistics, qualitative data is also called as categorical data. Why? Because it is often grouped into categories. And for this video, we will be focusing on qualitative data. Okay? Then what is qualitative data? Qualitative data is actually a non-numeric data. Look, the data here usually will be in the form of text, words, characters, strings and sentences. For example, have a look at these questions. What is your name? Where are you from? Which is your favorite chocolate brand? What do you feel about this event? Please note, the answer to all these questions will be in the form of words or sentences. Do you agree? Yes, you have to. All these types of information come under qualitative data. That's it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, but there is an exemption and that is the qualitative data will also be numeric at some instances. Yes, of course. Yes, of course I did mention that the qualitative data is a non-numeric data. But the term non-numeric doesn't mean that the qualitative data never hold numerical values, okay? In some cases, they do hold numerical values as well. But the numeric value they hold doesn't have mathematical meaning. Do you know what is mathematical meaning? Uh, the values that we obtain from a count of a measurement has mathematical meaning. Okay. Let's dig a bit deeper into this. Imagine someone is asking a kid, how many fingers do you have in your hand? Okay. The kid would say that I have 10 fingers. No, 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 no. After counting her fingers, the kid would say that I have 10 fingers, okay? And the value 10 is a result of count. And the value 10 is a result of count. And as it is a result of count, the value has mathematical meaning. Can you get my point? As it is a result of count, the value has mathematical meaning. Okay, coming to the result of measurement. If someone asks me, what's your weight? For instance, I would tell... 46 and the value 46 is not just a number the value 46 is not just a number rather than it's a result of measurement why because i have measured my weight in kilograms and therefore 46 is a result of measurement and hence the values we obtain from account or from a measurement has mathematical meaning but the numeric value that the qualitative data holds doesn't have mathematical meaning is that clear I hope that it is. Okay, we have seen the values with mathematical meaning. Come on now, let us see the values without mathematical meaning. Just imagine our phone numbers. It would be something like 9876542382. And that number is just a number and that doesn't have any mathematical meaning. I have never heard people saying that my phone number is 9 Arab, 87 crore, 65 lakhs, 42,382. I have never heard people saying like that. Or just imagine our register numbers during the public examination. It would be something like 1332064. And I have never heard students pronouncing their register numbers as 13 lakh, 32,064. I have never heard it. Why? Because it's just a set of numbers to identify something. That's it. The number doesn't have any mathematical sense and we can't perform arithmetic operations on that as well. For a second, let's imagine that the register number 1332064 is not a register number right now. It's a bank balance of Mr. Ram. Okay. And if someone asks Ram, what's your bank balance? He would say it is 13,32,064. He pronounces it in such a way because it is a count of money that he has. And it has mathematical sense as it is a result of count. I hope you understood. And all these numbers that have mathematical meaning come under quantitative data. And the numbers that don't have mathematical meaning like phone number, register number, pin code, etc. will come under qualitative data. That's it.